why here I am. Good morning, everyone. Hope you all had a good week. Welcome to church this morning. I'm going to wait for a few more people to come on into the room. I see Beth just joined us as well. Good morning, Beth. Hello, Diane. Welcome. Hello, Carla and your family. Sharon Cafferty, hello. Miriam, hello. James, hello. How is everyone doing this morning? Welcome to church. We have a good bit of people that are already here. We're going to get started in just a moment. I hope all of you were able to see Easter worship last Sunday. I know that it didn't get posted right at 10, um, but if you go back onto our feed, you will see that it is now posted so I encourage you to take a look at that if you haven't done so already. It looks like most people did get to see the message, and uh, there is a full service for Easter that is now posted as well. That was posted later in the day on Easter Sunday. So it's just me here this morning. I have uh, Michael Gray's in the back over at the sound booth, and uh, the kids are here playing. I can hear them. Sounds like Lyric's got a tambourine and some uh, maracas that she's walking around the church with right now. And you can see uh, we're all set up for Easter. We have our banner up now, and we have our decorations up to make it feel like it's not a completely empty room. So it really does help make it feel a little bit more warm in here, especially for me while I'm in here by myself. And I know we have some folks joining us from other parts of the world, so welcome to you all as well. I'm glad that you all could join us this morning. Today is April 19th, and it is the second Sunday of Easter. If we were in normal worship right now, well, if it was 9 o'clock when we were starting, um, if we were just before starting worship, I'd probably be walking around and uh, Doug Drees would be right over here talking to me, saying that it's good to see me up and about, saying hello to people. <laughs> so good morning, everyone. Today, as I said, is the second Sunday of Easter, and I am so glad that all of you could join us this morning. My name is Reverend Aaron Boffman, and I am the pastor here at the Lutheran Church of the Good Shepherd in Olympia, Washington. Today, we do have some other videos that are posted, so please be sure to check out our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. You can also access them on our website. There's a great video that uh, Rosie Mack sent in that is her playing some music for us this morning, so I encourage you to check that out. You'll also notice that there's a post this morning from John Masterson with a short financial report for all of you. So, hi, Lyric. Lyric's going to come up and say hello this morning, too. I'm on the I'm TV. Standing. I see that. I was standing on 
Come here, you want to say hi to everybody? Look right here into the mirror and wave. Right there. Hi, Daddy. Say hi. Hi, Daddy. Lyric's all dressed up for church this morning as well. You want to wave? Say hi. Good morning. Good morning. See, there you are. Hi. Okay. Before we get started this morning, I also just want to welcome all of our congregation members who have joined us this morning, and also of offer a special welcome to all of you that might be joining us for the first time. A little bit about us, we are proud to be one of the first Lutheran congregations in the Southwest Washington area to be welcoming and affirming of those who are LGBTQ, and we are also proud to be a community hub for the South Olympia area. We host three schools, nonprofits, support groups, quilters, and we have an open gym. We are also proud members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. If you'd like to learn, out, learn more about us, be sure to check out our Facebook page or our website at gsolympia.org. I also encourage you to sub subscribe to our YouTube channel. This morning, uh, we will be joining together with our local synod staff who will be sharing worship for us this morning so we can remotely watch together the service from our, our synod. The synod staff understands that these past few weeks have been stressful for all of us and wanted to give us, uh, our worship staff, the ability to take a few deep breaths. So over the next few weeks, our synod staff will continue to provide Sunday morning worship materials for all of the congregations in our synod, which we look forward to sharing with all of you. Our message this morning comes from the 20th chapter of John and is a story commonly referred to as Doubting Thomas. And I want to point out that this story is not a story about someone that we should shun or someone that we can relate to in a bad way, but rather someone we can relate to as a role model. Some scholars, such as Peter Ma Marty, have suggested that a better title for Thomas is not doubting, but rather empirical, meaning someone who seeks to verify things by observation or experience rather than theory or pure logic. Thomas was a scientist. He wanted to know the facts. And you will notice in our gospel story today that Jesus actually encourages this behavior. He encourages Thomas to touch his wounds to verify that it is really him. I think that this is really important message for all of us today as we scroll through Facebook or get our information from websites. Be sure that the facts that you are finding are true. Jesus encourages you to do so. So listen to our gospel story today for Jesus encouraging Thomas and not scolding him. Listen for Jesus encouraging Thomas to be empirical and not just have simply blind faith. And seek to be empirical yourself as you listen to the bishop's message and breathe in what truth resonates with you. So, Lyra, come on up here. Let's say hi to everybody one more time. I want you to hold me. Yeah. Can you say good morning, everyone? I'm going to put you right on over here so we can go ahead and switch over. <laughs> so now I'm going to invite all of you to tune into, our fa on, uh, into the post that you can now find posted on Facebook, webs on our website, and the YouTube channel that we will watch together this morning. Be sure to check back here on Facebook after you watch worship this morning um, as we're going to go live for a virtual coffee hour and we can share our thoughts about the bishop's message or just have time to chat on the Facebook comments. So there are three videos that you can watch this morning. First is the worship service that is provided by our synod. Second is be sure to listen to the hymn that is provided by Rosie Max and third is be sure to watch the video from John Masterson. You can access all of these videos on our Facebook page, YouTube channel, and our website. 
Lastly, remember to check back here on Facebook between 1045 and 1115 for our virtual coffee hour. Let us now take a few deep life-giving breaths to prepare our hearts and minds for worship. Let us pray. Protect us, O God, for we take refuge in you. Be with us in these uncertain times. Help us to stay strong and support others by staying home. Lord, confuse the efforts of those who seek to undo all we have done over the past few weeks and help us to have hope and patience as we do what is right for one another. For God, we know that you will not abandon us. You show us the path of life. And in your presence, there is fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Thank you for watching. Now be sure to check out our other videos that are posted this morning and tune back here between 1045 and 1115 for our virtual coffee hour chat. We hope to see you all there.